Georgia Aquarium is known for its impressive variety of exhibits and education programs. As you'll see in this video, the Georgia Aquarium Research Center is also supporting research and conservation on aquatic animals around the world. Georgia Aquarium recently opened the new Conservation Field Station in Florida that serves as the Regional Marine Mammal Stranding Center for the northeast coast of Florida. Dolphin Research is under the supervision of our Senior Vice President, Dr. Gregory Bossert. He and his colleagues have made significant discoveries about the health of dolphins in the wild and how emerging diseases may make them sentinels of human health issues. Georgia Aquarium is contributing funding and veterinary expertise to support field conservation of manatees in Brazil, Peru, and West Africa. We have also collaborated with a consortium of researchers in the first successful health assessment of wild beluga whales in Bristol Bay, Alaska. Here in the state of Georgia, we're working with government agencies to help the public learn about threats from invasive Pacific lionfish. And in collaboration with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, we're helping the public learn more about Gray's Reef National Marine Sanctuary located off the coast of Georgia. Throughout 2010, we worked closely with the Georgia Sea Turtle Center to rehabilitate sea turtles affected by cold winter temperatures. When the turtles were released, transmitters were attached so we can track their movements. Georgia is a world hotspot for freshwater biodiversity with more than 325 species of fishes, but nearly 30% are imperiled. A good example is the robust red horse sucker, a species that was once thought to be extinct. We're providing support for a consortium of conservation biologists to restore this fish to streams and rivers where it once occurred. Georgia Aquarium maintains a colony of endangered South African penguins. To help with conservation efforts, we're providing financial aid and veterinary expertise to the South African Foundation for the Conservation of Coastal Seabirds, located in Cape Town, South Africa. One of the world's largest closed system living reef exhibits is located at the Georgia Aquarium and features specific corals and reef fishes. Beginning in 2007, George Aquarium provided funding to support a remarkable marine protected area in the Solomon Islands in collaboration with the Nature Conservancy. This area is the primary nesting site for hawksbill turtles in the western Pacific region. In Fiji, I've been tracking the recovery of coral reefs following a catastrophic coral bleaching event that occurred there in 2000. After 10 years, the reefs have almost fully recovered. In January 2010, Dr. Alistair Dove and Christy Cobb Hackey from Georgia Aquarium joined scientists from Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute and several Brazilian universities to explore the deep sea environments of the Abralhos platform off the coast of Brazil. Using the Johnson Sea Link submersible, biologists descended to depths of 915 meters and collected corals, sponges, and other animals, some of which are new to science and may contain new pharmaceutical compounds. This research is the first exploration of the deep sea biology of Brazil and the start of a five-year research plan in which Georgia Aquarium will participate as a research and outreach partner. The flagship exhibit at the Georgia Aquarium is the 24 million liter ocean voyager exhibit which is home to four mantas including one manta alfred eye from South Africa and three Atlantic mantas which is very likely a separate species. In 2010, we began a new research program to investigate the migratory patterns and behavior of the Atlantic mantis off the coast of Florida. This project is under the supervision of our Vice President of Zoological Operations, Dr. Tim Mulliken. In 2003, George Aquarium began a collaboration with the Mexican government and Moat Marine Laboratory to study whale sharks off the Yucatan Peninsula near Cancun. This is now considered to be the largest aggregation of whale sharks in the world, with more than 400 whale sharks counted in one aerial survey. Near the coast, the whale sharks are feeding on copepods and other zooplankton, but another aggregation site was discovered in 2006 farther offshore in blue water. Research in 2009 and 2010 has revealed that these whale sharks are feeding on fish eggs. Through DNA barcoding, we now know these eggs are from the little tuny, Eutinus illiteratus. Our Mexican colleague, Rafael de la Parra, has helped tag over 800 whale sharks since 2003. These numbered tags have been used to identify individual sharks and help with population estimates, 
However, photographs are a better method to identify individual animals. In 2010, our senior scientist, Dr. Alistair Dove, organized a team of George Aquarium biologists to help with field research in Mexico. Here, Al is photographing the spot patterns on the side of a whale shark to be added to Eek Ocean's international database of whale shark sightings. Dr. Robert Huter from Moat Marine Laboratory has used satellite tags on whale sharks to track the long-range movements of whale sharks after they leave Mexico. Some move north into the Gulf of Mexico, others head south to the Caribbean, and one animal was tracked over 7,000 kilometers to the South Atlantic. In 2010, Dr. Philip Moda of the University of South Florida published his comprehensive analysis of the feeding anatomy and diet of whale sharks, made possible by a grant from the Georgia Aquarium. When you visit the George Aquarium, know that your admission fees and donations help support the important programs featured in this video and help the aquarium achieve its mission to be a scientific institution promoting conservation of aquatic biodiversity around the world.